of, of fairly grainy security footage that just plays on a loop um, of a um, a man in uh, like a pilot's like flight suit uh, walking up to the counter, giving something to the to the counter. You can't actually see the person on the other side. It's just like security footage from above. So this guy walks up, gives the something to them, takes two tickets, looks up at the camera for a second, and then walks away. Um, there. Uh, in their early 40s, it's a guy in his early 40s, uh, bald. He has a scar on his face. Um, he, he looks like a spacer. Like you guys have seen yeah. this kind of guy a bunch of times. Um, uh, so as, and, as playing, I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just like, uh, uh, Pop, please roll that back two seconds and enhance. <laughs> okay. And so I, uh, I the, the video, face. the video rewinds. Yeah, it, it expands on the face, and then like somehow magically the resolution improves. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it more clearly. Yeah. Uh, Pi, can you please run a background check on this person? Using what database? I don't know. You can. F I mean, you'll find one. Just scan it against all known databases. I look at Piani, and I'm just like, right. It's, it's what you so Pi Pi says um, scanning scanning complete. I found one entry in the database. Would you like to see it? Uh, yes, please enhance. Show it. Okay, so another screen pops up, and it just starts playing the video you just watched. <laughs> Adam, can I use my... <laughs> recent folders? <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Can I do a critical or a criminal check to see if I identify that? I don't know. I guess it's kind of weird to roll for, but no, I... no, culture criminal, absolutely. That's that's totally valid. It's going to be difficult, but yeah, you can try to see if you remember. Can I? This guy. Can I help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Do you have a plus you. one in it as well, Sakari? Jeff? Uh, I have a zero, I think. Okay, I have a plus one in culture criminal. Well. Aren't you fancy? If you want to help well, me, you no wait, Higgs. You you help. It was it was security. Okay, idea. that's right, that's right. All right, I'll roll two d six plus one. What is it based off of? Int, right? Yeah. Well, good you don't for you. Yeah, you don't recognize the guy at all. You never <laughs> seen him. Fucking Wilbur Higgins. Um, I get a nine. I don't recognize him. This is okay. I so would just wait, say, wait. looking at him, I'm just like, uh, if I had to make a guess, gentlemen, I, I don't think this person is a is a simple courier that she is not aware of. I think this is part of something larger. Now, I mean, like, we're specifically tracking down her husband, Lord McCurry, who we know uh, was supposed to be landing on, what, Majid? Was that it? Where we got the docking sort of thing yeah, from? Yeah, he was, he was on his way to Majid. He was supposed to land there a week ago and never showed. Yeah, so Majid, and uh, he's from Cabral. Like, if there were any way to get access to databases from those locations, well, we could maybe cross-reference? He's, he's Cabralese by, by birth, birth, but he's, yeah, but he would, he's, an it, Asin, he's an Asin noble, right? Yeah. Like, in the so, same way that, that people from New Orleans were originally French. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, I would, I would look at... I would look at ASA databases and Majid databases for for this in order to narrow it down. So, yeah, I, don't I mean, know. you'd have to. You'd, the thing is, you can't like you can't hack across systems, right? Because it's right. a it's a push pull like it's like delivering the mail. You'd have to mm -hmm. go to those systems to get access to those databases, or have someone on the ground do it for you, like um, like Piani did. Um, yeah. Before any of that, though, um, Higgs, I need you to make a luck roll for me. It's just a d twenty. Uh, you need your your luck oh, score better. Shit. Uh, 14 or higher. Yeah. Okay. Fucking almost a 20. Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. It was right next to it. Ugh. So there's, yeah, like, the guy looks kind of familiar to you, but in the same way that lots of, like, tough-looking dirtbags look familiar, you're like, I, I must know this guy from somewhere, but then it fades. Okay. I just kind of keep it to myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, you catch, actually, when you, I think when you do that, you catch Wu making, like, pretty much the same face where he's, like, looking at it, and he's just like... You can tell he kind of recognizes the guy too, but uh, well, I guess... do I notice it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You see the two of them kind of like look at each other, like. Woo! Do you have something to contribute? Uh, he looks at you and, and he's like, "I have, I've seen this guy before, but can't remember where. I, mean, I see a lot of people, but something familiar about that face." Well, at least you're being useful today, Woo. At least you're being useful today. Uh, I, I, face seems recognizable, but uh, so do many faces. I don't know. Did you see him on this planet? He's or like, is it more in the past? I don't know. I see him somewhere. I know it. What Maybe if I tell you that I'm going to take away your fucking ticket unless you remember? <laughs> He's like, well, okay, hold on. It's not like I pretend to don't remember. I don't remember, okay? This isn't one of those maybe you refresh my memory situations. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, 
This man is here. This man has been here. He has taken the tickets. Surely there is more, uh, more information about him at some ba- database here uh, on where the fuck are we? Jesus. Strophios. <laughs> On Strophios at, uh, I'm trying to find, the Don, Don Methuselah. Surely there is some kind of uh, video feed. We can track his movements. We can see where perhaps he's staying. We have, we have what, eight hours until the show? So, yeah, Wu, Wu looks at you and kind of shakes his head. He's like, where did you grow up, Andoni? Surveillance culture, not a thing here. Very big on uh, religious personal freedom. Uh, not much surveillance, plus expensive. Government's run by religion anyway. Everybody just held their secrets open. This guy, gonna be hard to track down, maybe better on foot. Print out the photo, go ask. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it's surprising to me that they would not have security when the ticket booth had it, but... Well, we could give it a try. What do you think? I throw that to the team. What, uh, what do you, I, I tuned you out because I just can't stand your voice. What were you saying, Prosper? <laughs> yeah, Prosper sort of like, he like puts one hand on his hip and like turns one like lip up. He says, well, <laughs> well, Wilbur, I think that we should go on foot and look around <laughs> to see if we can find any more information about this gentleman here in this picture. What do you think? Prosper, if you talk like that again, I'm going to shoot you right where you stand. <laughs> Never do it again. And Wu, Very well, if Mr. he shoots again, me, Wu, you shoot him. He's going down if he ever does it again. Now, what did you say? I was so upset, I still didn't get it. <laughs> Should we go on foot around and look for this person? If you want to, it's a pretty big planet, I believe, though. It's just a dome. It's just one little dome. <laughs> uh, un, un petit dome. Pi, pi, how big is this dome in uh, meters, please? Foot, feet? Maybe yeah. can you tra- convert it into feet? I don't know what meters do. So on on the screen, uh, like in your main hollow display, there's like a map of the dome that comes up, and it gives basic statistics about it from the Strophios like tourism board. Like for incoming pilgrims, they want to familiarize themselves with Dome Methuselah, and so it gives you like the dome <laughs> stats and everything. The 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 highest building in the dome is right in the center. It's a communications tower that actually goes through the top of the dome, uh, and it's I think probably like. 15 stories tall total in the middle, like at the apex. Okay, so it's still pretty big, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I turned to Sakarian and, and Piani, and I'm just like, should we... I mean, we got the app. We got a day, I guess. Should we go look for this guy? Chances are he'll probably be there tonight anyway, so we could just sit at the uh, at the convention center and just wait. Um... Well, uh, I want to suggest that maybe we find out what so the security protocols are for a concert to find out if we are entering this thing unarmed. I feel like I would go to Miss Sakarian and say this. Okay. Well, undoubtedly a large, famous concert like this will have a security protocol, yeah. So, like, the last few times we've gotten into situations where we haven't had our weapons. we kind of been fucked. How are we going to not be fucked this time? Could we go to the, uh, the concert site and secure weapons in a hidden location so that we can grab them later if we need them? That is definitely a possibility. You can run the risk of trying to bribe one of the security entry point people, personnel. That's true. I could work, I could work someone. <laughs> Piotti just laughs. I don't think it would work without the Higgins spectacle. Well, we're not going to be putting on a spectacle. I'll just give him a little tongue, a little tongue action. That is very distressing. <laughs> I don't mean like that, you pervert. You French people are just the sickest fucks I've ever had. I, I don't I mean, know how you meant for us to take that. You said you would give them tongue. I meant with words, you dumb fuck. With the verbal <laughs> language that I am speaking out of my mouth, I'm not going to kiss the guy. If you would like to try that and see if it I, works, by all means, French guy. I did not think you would be kissing. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, you know what? Fuck you. I had five, but now I've got four, and I just throw shirts at people. <laughs> I throw shirts at everyone, but uh, but prosper. Okay. So I made us shirts. <laughs> I put on the shirt, 
It just says Swan Song on it. It's got a ship. <laughs> <laughs> is it blue or black? Uh, mine is blue. Everyone else's is black. So Wu, Wu, looks at, Wu looks at the shirt and holds it up and then looks right at the camera and is like, this is the greatest shirt I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> and then looks at Higgs and is like, Where'd you get it, Wu? I would like to buy six or seven more of these t-shirts. Well, <laughs> it's, we're still, it's still a test. When we get, we're pretty big in the universe right now. But uh, we got to get word around. So I figure, you know, we'll do some advertising, see if we can get some bigger gigs. This one's paying all right. But uh, we can do better. We can. I will cherish, I will cherish this oh shirt for all God. of time. Okay. All right. By the way, Wu, I just want to be up front with you. Uh, what you're doing with Nika, at least on the ship, could be construed as stalker. So when you get to the uh, concert tonight, don't lose your shit. Try to keep it inside. Uh, both emotionally and physically, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, don't get us in any trouble. I know you're a big fan. Sing along with the songs, but don't uh, don't lose <laughs> sight of the target. That's not her. Okay, we got a mission to complete. I understand. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, now, are we going to do some searching? Yeah, you guys want to do some... We've got to secure the weapons. Okay, right. Well, I'll go, okay, I'll go get dressed, and uh, we'll we'll head out here. Maybe go over to the convention site. I'll try to uh, see if I can get some some guns slipped in through a guard. We'll see how that goes. So I guess bring everything Good. that you would want, and then we'll just see how much we can All sneak right. in. Can we take inventory then? I would like to try to sneak in a. Oh shit! That's the only weapon I have. What do you guys have in mind? Uh, laser rifle, power cell type A, I mean, body armor as well. Like, are we going to be able to go in fully armored? I'm wearing armor under my regular clothes. Yeah, I can wear my woven body armor, I feel like. What a, What kind of... Yeah, I've got woven body armor too. Yeah, that's that's easy to hide, right? Yeah, yeah the body armor shouldn't be a problem. What about combat cool. field armor? Uh, combat field armor is more like more military. Uh, you would you'd be fairly like obviously armored uh, if you were pretending to be somebody's bodyguard or like had a reason to fit in maybe, but not just like wearing it casually. I'll be okay. I'll just say that I'm Wu's body. I won't tell him this, but I'll say that I'm Wu's bodyguard to the okay. security officer. Um, I mean, I can tell you. I can tell you right now. The bigger the weapon that you're trying to smuggle in, the more difficult it's going to be. Like pistols. You could justify, like, self-defense, but a laser rifle in the VIP balcony, there's only one thing anyone's going to think you're going to do with that. <laughs> like, true. oh, don't worry, I just need to smuggle this sniper rifle up onto that clock tower over there. I'm not going to shoot about, anybody. Uh, <laughs> what about a grenade? Uh, grenades oh. are not generally self-defense implements. Or 12. Yeah, especially with a crowd. Like, oh, I'm just going to throw this grenade into this group of people here. Okay. Um... Like uh, you're basically if you're if you're coming at it from a self defense perspective, like armor and stuff, no big deal. Pistols maybe, but like, yeah. Um, the thing is, it's it's not so much about the the armor is easy or difficult to hide. It's just like you're obvious or not obvious. Like woven body armor is bulky, but it's like, you know, the, no one's gonna tell you like no, you're not allowed to protect yourself. But it's like you're wearing combat armor and carrying a plasma projector. You're obviously here to murder people, so right. you can't really bribe somebody through that. Okay. Well, I'm still going to wear my combat field armor. I'm okay wearing that. I'm just going to say mm -hmm. it's for security purposes because I don't know. I'll make up a reason. But I don't know. I turned to Mr. S and I'm just like, uh, Mr. S, I don't know if we can sneak in uh, your second skin, if you know what I'm saying. This was not my idea. I intended on wearing my woven body armor and I'm just going to use the monoblade. Yep. Well, okay then. All right. Okay. I assume uh, they'll be under the similar circumstances, so I don't think it'll be necessary. I'll just have to be a better fighter than them. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll I, I hope so. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Uh, look, I'm getting the shakes because I haven't had a drink yet, so I'm going to go do that, get dressed, and we'll meet back here in about 20 minutes. And uh, we'll go and uh, check everything out. And okay. I, as I'm walking off, I turn it. I'm like, just passively throw Prosper a shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yippee! Okay, so um, what? So how are you splitting up? Who's going to the the um, stadium to to try to get the weapons in? Uh, are, I, mean, is I gotta doing, do that. Yeah, is anybody else doing like footwork, going to looking for this guy? Um, um, so I figure like, I mean, 
Prosper had the idea to hide all the stuff, but it sounds like Higgs is going to get it taken care of. Mm -hmm. So since Higgs didn't seem very interested in hunting this guy down, yeah, Prosper, like, maybe Prosper goes to Wu and says, Wu, are you at all interested in taking a stroll, looking for this gentleman? You seem to know something more about him than the others. Maybe seeing something, hearing something will jog your memory. You're asking this to, you're talking to Wu? To Wu. Yeah, okay. Um, he, uh, he looks at you, um, and uh, he's like, um, ah, some, something feel bad about that guy. It gives me chills. I don't know if I want to see him again. You know, some people you forget for a reason. I have that feeling. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't want, maybe I don't want him remembering me, you know? Didn't we get, like, laser pistols from somewhere somehow? Man, you got, body you got a character sheet. Look at that shit. Can I can I make a luck roll yes. to have bought one and then hand it to Wu? <laughs> if you'd like to uh, have pre you just actually, yeah, I have like three. I can just keep yeah. yeah and, I mean, you know, Sicarian has them taped to him at all times. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, got, I just want to be like Wu. It's gonna be okay, and just give him a gun. Uh, okay. He he looks at it and looks at you, and he's like, "Well, to be perfectly honest, I'm used to something bigger." And he like looks at the ship. But uh, uh, I don't. I don't know if I feel comfortable. I mean, like, kind of like holding his hand, but like, carrying this thing around, I might hurt myself. Whoa! It's just it's it's easy. It's no problem. Turn safety off. Stick down crotch. <laughs> As he says safe. that, I'm like, oh no! It's far more likely that somebody else will hurt you. <laughs> he, he looks at me, Mr. Scary. He's like, uh, yeah, not selling me on the plan. Um, look, maybe you two go find this guy and. Uh, I don't know. Call me. I can. I can watch you. You use your, you use your phone. I. I don't want to. This sounds like dangerous business. I'm not here for the danger. Just here for the women and the money and the glory and also to fix this piece of shit. Guns. Right, and he, like he like can't tries to hand you back the gun. He's like that's guns is you. You are guns. No 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 no. You keep it. He kind of like holds it by the trigger guard. He's like okay. Ugh. And he like is your cigar in? Goes back to his room to put it away in a drawer somewhere. Allons-y. I'm sorry, did you say something to me? <laughs> did you sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I look, look around for Higgs. I see that he's gone. I say, let's go. I come out of the hallway. I'm just like, so this is uh, the day before and we're to, to look this for is the, the morning. Guy. This the, is the, the morning, morning of, of the yeah. show. All right. yeah. So then I do wear my combat armor and I bring the plasma projector under my cloak and stuff. Okay. So that means you're going to have to come back to the ship. Mm -hmm. Chain. Okay, yeah. I'm just making sure. Uh, yeah, I guess we get ready to go. Okay. All right. So uh, Who, you're who's gonna coming to with the... me? Is it just me? It I don't like... think we know what Piani's doing yet. Yeah, Piani, what are you doing? Um. Well, I mean, I'm definitely interested in making sure we have weapons in there. Um. I don't know. Is there any way that I could? go with them to say uh, yeah I'll just go with them I just want to make sure these weapons get hit okay so you're gonna go with uh, go with Higgs whoever's doing it yeah I'm going with Higgs then. Got okay. It. <laughs> okay all right so uh, we'll cut over to that uh, Higgs you and um, uh, you and Piani are at the, uh, the the dome, and there's already like a huge crowd there. Like it's a full like these are all just the people who are desperate to get tickets, just in case some become available. There's a whole bunch of like media outlets here, like doing interviews. You can hear music blaring from several vehicles in the parking lot, um, and there's like yeah a huge like hot air balloon over the over the stadium, um, and yeah Nika Starlight stuff everywhere. Okay, um, and I would assume. The security around this is is just a chain fence. Like what what am what am I looking at when I look around? Uh, yeah, there's a there's a perimeter fence. Like it takes up like an entire city block, basically, like at least like a big block. Um, there's a parking lot off to one side. Uh, it seems mostly full already. Um, there's a perimeter like chain fence around that. Uh, there's just like a main entrance, but there's um, uh, like rope. Uh, like pythons or whatever that come up out of the ground with um, ropes between them to like keep everybody in line uh, around the outside. There's a ticket office that's kind of like swamped, and then every spare kind of meter of uh, sidewalk is like just covered in fans. Would I 
know or understand the hierarchy of this, that the ticket box office is also uh, above or in command of the security for this, or is it completely different? Uh, I mean, the whole thing is run by the um, the man, like whoever manages the 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 place. So you could get in touch with security by going to the box office, or you could just find like you can see security officers around. They're just wearing like black jackets with security on the back. So yeah, I guess I just walk to the box office and uh, th okay. th who's working the box office? Is it the same girl? No, no. There's there's um, there's several people at the at the box office now. Like all the windows are open. Um, but they all have signs like on the LEDs above them that just say like show sold out and it just keeps like rotating through. And you have to like push your way through a crowd to get there. Okay. Um, and the window, the window is like down. So they, you know, like, and there, there's people there, but they're not like just sitting waiting. They're like talking behind the screen. You could knock on the. Yeah. I, I knock on the, the thing. Okay. So one of the, one of the guys turns around and he like opens up the window um, and he's like, uh, Sir, the, the show is already sold out. I'm, I'm sorry if you wait in the crowd over there. And he, he points. He's like, I'm sure once tickets are available, you know, we'll, we'll be making an announcement. Then you, you can tell he's made this speech several times already today. Yeah. Uh, when, um, when he finishes his thing, yeah. I just turn to him and say, uh, is the manager and I'd like to have a word with him. I spoke with him two days ago, uh, and received five tickets from him and uh, something else has come up and I'd like to have a talk with him. Oh, uh, y yes. Yeah, of, of course, sir. Just uh let me let me go and grab him. Well, can I just? Oh. It'd be better if I just walked in. I know I was here two days ago. I know the door's right there, and his office is just back yonder. So may I may I step inside? And he he looks at you and and Piani and and is like ah, uh, yeah. I mean I'll, I'll I'll go let him know you're here, and then he he'll come out and and you you can go to his office. I can't let you in his office myself. Just a, it, it'll just be a quick second, sir. If you just wait by the door. Um, okay. He, I'll, he closes right. the window. And like he said, like five minutes pass, um, and uh, while while you're waiting, uh, like a group of like teenage girls um, show up in like a hover minivan, basically they get dropped off by their mom, and they're all like dressed like like Connor was on the ship, <laughs> like the same kind of like t-shirt, and um, they have their hair up in in star like pigtails, and they're um, they're like screaming along to some song, and uh, they they kind of go by. And then the door opens. You hear it click open behind you, and that that same guy sees you. And there's there's a moment where he goes from like his like prepared like okay I got to deal with an angry customer face to his like oh god this guy again face, and then back to the like nope I'm under control I, I'm in control it's fine. But for a minute you can see he's like terrified. He's like oh god no. Yeah. Um, and then he and he's like oh uh, hello good good to good to see you again was uh, there uh, something wrong with the tickets Do you... no the ti well i mean i haven't scanned them yet i there's nothing wrong with the tickets right no i mean no there's no of course there's nothing wrong i just mean i i know i meant i don't know what i meant um yeah that's what can a weird, I do? What can that's I do a weird thing you? to that that's a little strange friend hey uh, i need uh, i need to talk to you privately uh, if i can come into your office and i just kind of start walking in without even yeah sure and to... I mean, you can tell like, he doesn't even take he takes a breath to to say like well hold on but then he, you know he's dealt with you before he knows that's not going to help and he's like okay all right let's do this again and uh yeah and you you walk down the, the hallway you know where his office is you he follows you back to his office basically okay um piani do you do you go along yeah but i try to like follow behind them okay all right right like i walk intentionally slow to be the last person sure okay um so you're in a long hallway um uh it's like concrete like it's just built into the side of the um uh the coliseum and yeah you you follow these two to a uh, a door that leads into the guy's office and um, yeah, it's just the just the way it was before. Yeah. Uh, and once you're in there uh, and the door is closed, he doesn't even really acknowledge like Piani because he knows you're the one that's gonna do all the talking. Uh, he's like, so, um, all right, what what uh, what can I do for you? Well, uh, let me allow let me introduce you to uh, my compatriot here. Um, we call her Stardust uh, in my neck of the woods. Stardust is one of the most renowned killers uh, in the known universe, as far as I've uh, been told. But she doesn't speak much, and when she does, she uh, would really... I'd rather not. She has a terrible voice, but her actions speak louder than her words. Uh, so please so don't, he, don't, yeah, don't he, worry he turns, too much about her. He, he turns, like, tomato red while you're saying this. You can see, like, he just gets sweaty. He's like, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, did you, did you say uh, Killer? Yeah, I like to I like, bring I like to bring I, a little security. 
Piani like, you know, cr- what crosses her arms and puts on her best like mean <laughs> face, but she's doing it really badly, like you know, like put on your war face. <laughs> she's just kind of pouty. Yeah. And and like I'm half just pissed at Higgs that he's put me in this position already. So <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, right. and, I'm just, right. and the reason that we're here, uh, the tickets, which I believe are going to work fine. Thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. Uh, we, we're trying to, you know, we're here, uh, protecting the, the Lord McCrary that we were speaking about the other day. And uh, it occurred to me that we're going to have some issues, uh, getting some firearms into the venue. Uh, I was hoping that maybe you could grease some gears and we could, uh, just mosey on by with our weapons, perhaps talk to a security officer somewhere. We could show them the guns. I have no problem doing that, especially full inventory. I've got that. I could send it over, but, uh, just wanted to check with you before we just do it anyways. Ah uh, well, um, well you see, uh, this is a this is a public venue, and 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 those kinds of things are uh, you know frowned frowned upon here. Um, oh, weapons yeah, I, out in the I open. Understand. But I mean, we we respect everybody's, and you can you can tell he's trying to remember the exact like phrasing. He's like, we here at the council respect everybody's right to self defense and to bear arms. So, if if weapons, if you need to have your weapons on you as a matter of self defense, well, I, I I would be happy to take a look at them, make sure that they are the kinds. Of firearms that are allowed in this venue, and and provided that they fit that, and you're willing to show me your paperwork, then, well, that that shouldn't be any problem, and uh, and and I'm sure it'll, it'll go just fine. Okay, well, uh, it, we've got us two, then we've got three more coming. Uh, I can have them bring the weapons down a little bit later, uh, but I got, and I just like start putting grenades on the table. <laughs> like, okay, he's, yeah, like and, like put a pistol yeah, you down can there, see his, and then a his face like on. swelling a little, and he's like pulling at his collar a little. You know, he didn't want to have to deal with grenades today. Grenades is not a thing that was on his list. Yeah. Um, and so he's just, like, stammering, and he's like... And eventually he's like, uh, Sir, I don't need to... Uh, you don't need to bring those out here right now. I don't need to see that. Um, if you just send me an inventory of the items that you need to bring in, uh, for security purposes, of course, and he looks at, at Piani and is like, uh, Man, we wouldn't want to hinder you in your job protecting your clients, of course. You know, we're, we're all for that here, but... Uh, I'm not the I'm not the man to talk to. If you send it to me, I'll pass along to security. We'll make sure that by the time the concert comes, then you'll you know you'll get you'll you'll get the access that you need. Uh, fam, fantastic. Uh, thank thank you so much for your support. And I start putting all the grenades back on my body and <laughs> okay. put the stun baton at my side and the pistol at my side. Uh, just like you, you've done a really good job. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, I'm, I'll put in a good word for you. Uh, and, and hopefully, if there's a, a place above this where you could uh, perhaps take up a, a desk, we'll. We'll make sure we get you there. All right. So all, all he really heard was the sat, the tone of your voice indicating the conversation was over, <laughs> and like just relief is just like washing over him, um, you know. And and so he he kind of like escorts you back out and and gives no, you no, his. No, 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 no. His okay, Higgs so he... leaves. Okay. Piani just stares him down, <laughs> and lets Higgs leave out the door. Okay. I get about half. Halfway... Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, and then and then as you know, I. As Higgs is clearly outside the door, mm-hmm. only then does Piani leave the room. And okay. as she's leaving, she's like, <laughs> and then she just walks out. Okay, you, yeah, you when you when you get close to him, like you have to pass him to go out the door. When you step towards him, he like steps back and like knocks his coffee cup off his desk. He like flinches like a herd animal. Um, and then yeah, and then you guys make your way out. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, so you're back outside. Uh, while that's happening, um, Prosper and Mr. Sicarian, what are you doing? Unmuting our microphones. Um, so, we were going to hunt down this guy. Um, yes. God, I feel like... I feel like the easiest way to start is to actually go to the ticket office and be like... Monsieur, we need information about this man, and show them the picture. Uh, I mean, they they won't. I think that that they wouldn't be able to tell you, right? Because yeah. all they said all they said last time was like, "Yeah, someone already picked up those tickets," and that they did yeah. it under her name and they had the appropriate ID. Like it's. Mm. Sicarian, do you have any idea how we could track down this criminal? <laughs> well, there's a very good chance that he comes from off planet, so we could. Uh... 
talk to. It's not immigration necessarily, but you know, um, hmm. whatever Customs agency would and be. duties, yes. Right. All right, let's start there. So you know, I guess. Uh, oh, what's our story? Uh, I've lately gone very fond of saying that my uncle has gone missing. It's worked uh, really well in not I will tracking down the other your guy. Lead. Yes. Very good. Uh, let's go. So we head for the customs office or whatever on the primary spaceport of uh, the Methuselah Dome. Okay. Which I guess is where this one's on. Yeah, it's where you are. Yeah. So, yeah. Yep. So we like walk in. Is there like a, a desk or something like that, I would assume? Yeah, yeah there's an office. I start walking towards the desk, stop like five feet shy of it. So. You can mm -hmm. see my, I kind of like look up to the top right. And I hit mm -hmm. like, you know, my visor comes down. Then I walk over and say, <clears throat> Hi, my name is Mr. Sicarian. I was looking for my uncle. Can you help me? So the the <laughs> customs officer, the guy at the desk, kind of like leans up from his, his computer terminal and looks at you. and He's like, uh, your uncle? Um, maybe? What? What? Can you tell me some more about him? I don't... Yes. He would have come from off-world in the last week or so. He has a scar on the right side of his face, and I believe he's attending that concert in a few days. Yeah, him and every other person in this goddamn dome. Uh, you got a name for your uncle? You got a, you got a photo? <laughs> I, I have a photograph one. right here of the gentleman, and I just hand him the, the data slate with the picture on it. He looks at it. All right. Uh, I don't know. You got a name. You got a ship. Anything else? I can't really search by photo. Like the guy. Uh, I, uh, let, me, let me take a look. And he like looks at it. Um, can you make a prosper? Make a luck check for me. Okay. Well, let me help. Let me help. Maybe. <laughs> you can't help. A, it's a D twenty roll, right? Yeah, I can't help on luck checks, unfortunately. Where is that on the roll twenty character sheet? Luck save thirteen. Okay. Mm. No, that's not above a thirteen. He looks at it and he's like, "Yeah, this guy." And he kind of like looks at you and looks at the guy and he's like, "Uncle, huh? Huh? I don't see the resemblance." I, I, as he says that, I reach my hand out on the table and I go, "Mister, he's the last of my family. We've been reunited through a program called." Yeah, I can't. In fact, the Make a Space Wish Foundation, and we're supposed to meet on this planet. I don't know his name, I don't know his ship, but it's imperative that I find him, and if there's anything you can do to help, well, gee willikers, it would just mean the gosh darn galaxy to me. Well, hey, that's, that's, a, that's a real touching story, sir. Um, I, could pass the, I could pass the photo around if you want. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if you came in on a shift that's different than the one now. I mean, we might we might miss him, but uh, you want to come back in a couple of days? I, I could circulate it for you. Actually, I've been sold to a slave ship, and I have to leave <laughs> tomorrow. And he was kind of my last hope to. And I'm saying this in, in yeah. a salt arm. <laughs> In the, back, said, in the background, like, Prosper is, like, doing the anime face with, like, tears coming down, like... <laughs> well, no, so when, yeah, when he says, like, I've been sold to a slave ship, the guy looks at Prosper like, you slaver trash. <laughs> How dare you, this poor man. I, uh, I also give him, like, a cred stick of, let's say, 5,000 is on it. I say, this is all I have. It all obviously mean nothing once I'm a slave. <laughs> and there's, like, a pause, and I look down at the table... And then I look back up at him and I say, really, if there's anything you can do, I need this information before the concert tonight. It would be really fantastic. You should have said make a slave wish instead of space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it works when you get sold into slavery. Yeah, you get one yeah, more you get thing. One, one last one you're a slave. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. mean. Very can my good. wish be not to be a slave? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's okay, the make one me, thing uh, you can't wish for. You can't wish to not be a slave for more wishes or for true love. Yeah. Make a luck roll. Uh, for me, Mr. Sicarian. Uh, you can have a plus, uh, plus two to your roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he... Christ. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he actually, uh, he buys you from Prosper, and now you're his slave. Um, <laughs> We're really bad right. at this, Sicarian. 
So he he's like choking back tears, and he's like, "That's the goddamn sc- saddest thing I ever heard." Huh. Uh, I'll take this into the break room right now, and, and I'll show everybody I can find. Uh, and he gets up, and he uh, he leaves, like, you know, tears streaking down his face. And um, let's let's go to a break. We'll, we'll see what he remembers when we come back. Cool. All right. We'll take our uh, second break, come back, and still got two hours. So we'll see you guys in just a bit more role play coming up right after this.